So my project is called Developing an Interactive Cognitive Support System. I won't say the full name because it's really, really long. Um, but actually what we're doing is we are unpacking what good and high quality collaborative interactions are and then trying to understand students' needs. And then we are designing features that we can integrate into collaborative environments that would actually help students to understand and then regulate their collaborative interactions so that they can improve over time. So with regards to the innovation, if you look out there, there's actually a lot of technologies that support collaboration on the internet, but they primarily focus on providing environments for people to collectively search and share information or just engage in discussions. You can look at, you know, Google Docs, you can look at Adobe Connect or even Skype. But what you don't see is environments that actually help people understand what high quality collaboration is and then provide features to help them learn how to monitor and regulate these types of interactions. So what our innovation is, is that we're actually starting to unpack that, understand what high quality processes are, and make sure that we provide these types of features that better meet the needs of students. There's actually quite a bit of impact on learning if we can develop features to help students monitor and regulate their collaborative interactions. So a lot of the research says that there's a lot of benefits that can come from collaborative interactions. There's deeper learning, uh, students can understand what they are having difficulty comprehending in the material, for example. But most of the benefits that come from collaborative interactions are really dependent upon the quality of the discourse and the quality of thinking that happens during these interactions. And unfortunately, research also shows that most students lack the cognitive abilities to engage in high quality collaborative processes. And it's not just students, actually. This is something that is missing in general for most of the population. And so being able to design technological tools to help people better understand what high quality collaboration entails and be able to monitor, regulate, and improve those collaborations over time would actually help to improve these types of learning environments and provide more consistent positive learning benefits.